Hi kids. My name's Jill Halliday and I've been invited by the Ottawa Scottish Society to do some drawing with you today. I'm a classical animator and I make my living drawing. I've been told that the participants today are from aged five years old to maybe up to 12 years old. Now that's quite an age range when you think about the ability of a five-year-old as opposed to 12-year-old. And who knows, there might even be some grown-ups with us today. But I don't want the older people to be discouraged in any way because what we're doing is a, a, a nice, simple drawing that can be the foundation of any other kind of drawing, no matter how detailed you want to make it. Even professionals always start with a simple drawing. And so I encourage you to stay. Don't, don't go just because you hear that maybe five and six year olds are gonna be doing this. Cause I can assure you, you'll come away with a nice basic drawing, which at the end of this, you can take away and add as much as you like to it. I can show you how to do that, okay? So please stay. I think you'll be glad. Okay, now back to Scottish things and what we're gonna draw. So I thought we would do a musical instrument that's famous from Scotland. Now, kids, what do you think of if you think of Scotland and music? Is there a musical instrument that comes to mind? Me, let me see, I think. What do you think about when you think of Scotland? The harmonica? The xylophone? The cymbals? Maybe... I don't know, what do you think of? Well, I had to go ask around, even though I have Scottish roots, you know, I thought maybe I better check around because I know what comes to my mind. So I went and asked around, you know what? Everybody came with the same, same answer and it was the bagpipes. So I was relieved to hear that I was on the right track there. So that's what we're gonna draw today are the bagpipes. Now, here, hang on, I have a picture here. Here's a guy on a music book. I'm actually learning how to play the bagpipes. So those are the bagpipes. Sorry, that's not a great picture, but anyway. So that's what we're going to learn how to draw today, okay? And um, what else? Um, 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 I think that was it. Oh, except we should probably, oh, know a little bit about the bagpipes, just a little bit, in that um, they're like, they're over 2000 years old, the, this instrument. I mean, that's a long, long time ago, these things were being played. So that's like crazy. And the queen, you know, the queen of England, Elizabeth, she apparently every morning at 930, a bag, uh, a bagpipe player comes outside, outside her window. And instead of an alarm clock, he plays her favorite tunes outside the window and that wakes her up so that's pretty cool apparently her husband he's not too crazy about that but anyway she's the queen so you know she can do these things but anyway so let's get to drawing now okay let's go do those bagpipes okay let's go do that now oh oh wait sorry one more thing um i need to ask the boss yikes i need to ask the boss if it's okay that we do the bagpipes okay so hang on um Okay, um, Ms. Lila, is, is it all right that we do the bagpipes today? Oh, good. Okay, we're going to do the bagpipe. Welcome to my studio space. I'm just going to go in this, into this cupboard here. And it, this is where I store some of my stuff, art supplies and things. And this is where I'm pretty sure I'll find my printer paper. Yep, here it is. Okay. Uh, close this. There, now it looks tidy again. <laughs> and go over to my drawing table. This is my happy place. So I've got my paper. 
and I've got okay so this is my this is my happy place this is where I draw all right let's have another look at the bagpipe player and his bagpipes we need to know the different parts of the bagpipe before we can draw them today we're going to be drawing the seven main parts of the bagpipes we're going to be doing the bag the mouthpiece the chanter the three drones and the cord. That's going to make a really nice drawing. Now we just get our tools together, what we need to draw. So I have my paper. I'm using printer paper. We've got our reference guide to remind us what the bagpipes look like. And I've got my pencil and my eraser. Okay. We're going to start with the bag. The bag. We're going to do a big circle for this bottom part. We're going to do a little circle for the top part. And you can see how it comes down here. We're going to do another little circle for that part. Okay. We're going to do... I'm going to start sort of just below halfway on the page, because we have to leave room for those big drones. So we're gonna do our big circle in the bottom part of the page. And then we're gonna do our little circle here. Okay. Big circle, and then two little circles here and here. It doesn't have to be in the same position. We're just designing bagpipes. We're not gonna be doing the man. Okay, okay, we're doing the bag. So we've got the big circle. Okay, now the bag is soft, right? It's made from leather and cloth. It's not rigid. This comes down. That's this part. It comes down. See where the tassels are? Just to remind us of what part that is. And then the chanter. We'll just give ourselves a line for the chanter. And then we've got the small, right? That's our small circle there. And this is where the mouthpiece, right? The mouthpiece and blowpipe are attached to where our small circle is. So there's our small circle, and that's where the blowpipe comes off of, okay? And then there's our small circle again, and that's where the big drone is coming off of there. So right about here, we can throw our big drone line right up there. Okay, there's our big drone. And then the two smaller drones, there's our big circle. One's coming off sort of between the little circle and the big circle. We've got our two smaller drones, so we'll just kind of tap them in. Remember, these things are loose. They move around where they attach to the bag, and then we attach them with our tassel. Okay. I think we have all the parts. We have the bag, we have the chanter, we have the blowpipe, three drones, and the tassel. All right, so now we can lay in darker lines. So we're gonna make the bag more pronounced. We'll just darken our just go around and darken that outer bit like this, you know? Just gonna, you see that? Just kind of looks a bit like a bag. You know, like a little sack of potatoes or something. And if you want to put those tassels there, you know, 
that's good too. And then we have the bit that we've got the chanter, which we can't see because his hands are there, but it's made of wood. Let's make this one made of wood in our picture. Okay, and it flares out at the end like that. Okay, now again, we're not doing lots of detail. Let's go up and do this part, the blowpipe and the mouthpiece here where he's going to blow the air in. Now it has to attach to the bag, so we just put a little blob. And then again, we'll taper this one where it's fatter at the blob and thinner at the mouth. Again, that looks just fine. And then now we're going to do the long drone. Sometimes it's easier to turn your page and we'll just do, if you'd like to use a ruler, that's fine. But you know what? I prefer to just do it freehand. We're going to let that go up there. And you see how our drone goes right off. And then we've got our two other drones, which are shorter. See how my page is getting messy just from my hand? And that's... I don't know. That's part of... The, I like that bit. It means I'm working hard. There. We've got our two shorter drones. That's kind of starting to look like a set of bagpipes. Hmm. And then we should... You know where they attach... Let's just make kind of a blob where they attach. Lots of blobs and lots of sticks. Hmm, okay. And then let's make a part at the end where they, they're gonna go toot, toot. <laughs> we'll have toot, like that. Okay, now the bag. Now the bag, you can decorate this bag any way you like. Now the Pipers, Scottish clans or families have different tartans, and that's an entirely different subject. But their tartan defines their family and they often and usually have the tartan on their pipes and so it would be on like something like this okay we also know it as plaid you probably see a lot of plaid shirts you might own a plaid shirt so you can decorate your bag something like this or you can take your favorite crayon color or pencil color or markers and you can decorate the bag the way you would like it <coughs> pardon me um oh we also have the tassel now this guy this man i have a feeling that this ribbon here is in his clan tartan but i've all you'll often see that it is a gold cord or a black cord. And I think that ha often has to do with rank. Um, and it is sometimes ornament. So you can we can make this something that you would like that is important to you. Okay. Go like this. And maybe you'd put a tassel at the end see tassels on curtains and stuff something like that okay now I'd say a lot of people you know would look at this and go why those are bagpipes now if you wanted to go and add in some of the joints on the drones that would add more detail so you could you could, you know, go like this, maybe put some lines across like that. 
across and then down, just nice and simple. You could add one, two, one, two, and then across, okay? And maybe the long one, we could do one higher up. You can see my pencil, how flat I'm getting on this, eh? Now, if you'd like to add some finger holes on our chanter part, you know where the where he's playing the tune, you could put some circles down there, as many that fit. Okay, I think that looks like bagpipes. Now, you can always start again and the uh, bag, you can decorate that in your tartan or you can decorate it, you can put whatever you like on it, polka dots, stripes, flowers, it's all good. Okay, well done, I say. I'm gonna put this one on the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna go put it on the fridge. Huh, this is the first time I've ever drawn bagpipes. Huh, they look good. It was fun drawing with you today. From me and the Ottawa Scottish Society, thanks for watching. Bye.